Imagine a place where history stopped in 1986. A dead zone, banned from civilization, where silence is broken only by the wind between abandoned buildings. Chernobyl. The name that still makes anyone shiver. But recently, something disturbing emerged in this forgotten land. Something that made the internet stop. Something blue. In early October 2025, an organization called Dogs of Chernobyl was doing their routine work, capturing and sterilizing the dogs that live in the exclusion zone. But when they turned on their cameras, the world wasn't ready for what they saw. Three completely blue dogs. This is not a joke. This is not a filter. This is not artificial intelligence. Three animals covered from head to toe with bright blue fur, as if they had been painted by the radioactive sky itself. The video exploded on social media. Thousands of comments. Conspiracy theories fired off like missiles. And the question nobody could answer. What the hell is happening in Chernobyl? But before revealing the shocking truth behind these blue dogs, you need to understand one thing. Chernobyl has never been a normal place since that fateful day of April 26, 1986. It was 1.23 in the morning when reactor number 4 at the Chernobyl nuclear plant exploded, during a safety test that went terribly wrong. The explosion ripped off the 2,200-ton lid of the reactor and threw it into the air like a bottle cap. What came next was the real horror. A gigantic radioactive cloud that released 400 times more radiation than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The sky turned green. Trees died instantly, turning red, creating what they now call the Red Forest. More than 115,000 people were forced to evacuate in less than 48 hours. They took only the essentials. Clothes, documents, memories. But their pets? They were left behind. Dogs, cats, all abandoned in a zone where radiation levels were six times higher than what was permitted for human workers. Soviet soldiers received orders to shoot the animals, to prevent them from spreading radioactive contamination. But some survived. They hid. They adapted. And they reproduced. Today, almost 40 years later, about 700 dogs live in the Chernobyl exclusion zone. They are direct descendants of the animals that were abandoned. And here's the insane part. Scientific studies from 2024 revealed something absolutely incredible. These dogs develop genetic mutations that make them resistant to radiation, heavy metals, and pollution. That's right, these animals evolved to survive in one of the most toxic places on Earth. Scientists from Columbia University collected blood samples from 116 dogs and discovered that they have two genetically distinct populations. One lives near the nuclear reactors, the other just 10 miles away in the city of Chernobyl. These groups rarely interbreed, creating two separate evolutionary lineages. They identified 391 genetic sites with extremely divergent patterns. 52 genes associated with exposure to environmental contamination. These dogs aren't just survivors, they are living witnesses of accelerated evolution in real time. But it's not just the dogs. The wolves of Chernobyl developed mutant immune systems that seemed to make them resistant to radiation-induced cancer. Frogs that were once green are now black, with mutant skin that helps dissipate radiation. Life wasn't destroyed in Chernobyl, it transformed in ways that science is still trying to understand. And that's precisely why when those three blue dogs appeared on cameras in October 2025, the first thing everyone thought was radioactive mutation. After all, if dogs can become radiation resistant, who's to say they can't turn blue too? Social media went into meltdown. Conspiracy theories exploded in every corner of the internet. Some said it was the beginning of a new phase of mutations. Others claimed that radiation was increasing again. There were even those who said the Russians were doing secret experiments with the animals. And the most skeptical simply shouted, fake, filter, artificial intelligence. 
The Chernobyl Dogs organization even had to deny rumors that they had painted the dogs themselves on purpose to attract media attention. Because during their sterilization campaigns, they actually use temporary colored markers on the top of the dogs' heads to identify which ones have already been operated on. But these are small marks that disappear in two or three days. Nothing like dogs completely covered in blue from head to toe. And now the moment of truth. If you're expecting me to say it's an epic radioactive mutation, I'm sorry to disappoint you. But at the same time I'm telling you, the truth is even stranger. Dr. Jennifer Betts, veterinary director of the Dogs of Chernobyl program, investigated the case. They tried to capture the dogs several times, but the animals are extremely fearful and skittish. Even tranquilizer darts were used, but without success. During the investigation, the team found something unusual in the same location where the dogs were seen. An old chemical toilet, the porta potty type. And here's the plot twist. These chemical toilets contain a bright blue liquid used as a deodorizer. The most likely theory? The dogs rolled in this sticky blue substance, which stuck completely to their fur. It's not radiation. It's not mutation. It's not a secret experiment. It's literally chemical liquid from a portable toilet. The most radioactive dogs in the world rolled in a chemical toilet and became global memes. But here's what makes this even more interesting. As mundane as the explanation may be, it doesn't diminish the fact that these dogs are truly extraordinary. Dr. Betts stated that the animals appear healthy and active. While the blue liquid is probably not toxic, as long as they don't lick it too much, the biggest danger isn't the chemical toilet. It's the environment these dogs live in every single day. And this isn't the first time blue dogs have appeared in contaminated industrial regions. In 2021, in Zhezhinsk, Russia, residents discovered a pack of blue dogs near an abandoned chemical factory. In that case, they suspected the dogs had rolled in copper sulfate, a pale blue chemical used in industrial manufacturing. Chernobyl continues to be one of the most fascinating evolutionary laboratories on the planet. Despite radiation poisoning cow's milk, shrinking birds' brains, spreading tumors and malformations, life found a way. In the absence of humans, nature prospered in unexpected ways. Wild boars, red foxes, songbirds, even brown bears returned to the exclusion zone. Chernobyl has become Paradoxically, an accidental refuge for wildlife. The Blue Dogs of October 2025 may have a mundane explanation, but they remind us that Chernobyl still holds secrets. There are still mysteries waiting to be discovered. And while scientists continue studying these resilient animals, one thing is certain. The exclusion zone isn't just a monument to human disaster. It's also a testament to life's ability to adapt, survive, and even thrive against all odds. So if you found this story fascinating, subscribe to the channel right now. Because there are many more mysteries, much more insane science, and many more disturbing truths that I'm going to reveal here. And since you made it to the end, I left a gift video for you right there. I won't tell you what it's about, but I guarantee it will blow your mind as much as these blue dogs from Chernobyl. Click there and find out.